Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hello and welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, one of my favorite types of shows. Another review. I just love these because it just helps me to pick the right thing for me and my family. Now, you may have heard about this, the My Points gift card reward program. Any good? Should you bother with it? That is what we're talking about today. So the My Points Surveys and Gift Card Reward Program, founded in 1996, it was of course first a website that you had to access on a computer before it became an app in more recent times. So here's how you earn money and rewards on My Points. You can earn points for shopping at your favorite online stores like Amazon, Walmart, eBay, even travel sites like Expedia.com. Remember that commercial? Maybe not. Uh, you can also earn points by participating in surveys. Now, these surveys are usually market research tools that bigger companies might use for their own purposes. Now, you may or may not fit in the demographic for a particular survey, but there are several of them to participate in. And then, once your points kind of cross over a particular threshold, you can redeem them for gift cards to your favorite shops. My Points also partners with third party brands that regularly have offers associated with bonus points. You can wrap up points pretty quickly this way. Watching various types of videos will earn you points as well. You can earn points by also playing games on My Points. Yeah! If you refer your friends to My Points, they sign up for it. Of course, you can earn points that way too. Apart from earning points and taking surveys, you also have access to coupons to your favorite department stores and grocery stores. Need to book some travel and earn points at the same time? <laughs> you can do that too from the My Points app or their website. Now here's how you sign up. It's easy. Just enter your email, create a password, and take advantage of everything My Points has to offer. That kind of sounded like a commercial. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so here are some advantages of using My Points. It's free. That's a big deal. On at least a weekly basis, the average American will buy something from popular websites like Amazon or Walmart. I'm sure you do too. In a survey, Expedia found that 60% of Americans travel by air at least once a year. If you tend to travel quite a bit or will be traveling anyway, it doesn't hurt to rack up some points and book your flight or hotel through My Points. Currently, on the My Points website, you can earn three points for every dollar you spend on booking a Holiday Inn hotel, four points for each dollar you spend on Expedia, and nine points for every dollar you spend on Hotels.com. Not bad. If you're already planning a big family trip this summer, you know, you can use that to actually build up points and redeem them pretty quickly. A 250 round trip ticket you book on Expedia easily becomes a thousand points. And currently on my points, that's enough to buy a $5 Amazon gift card. One round trip ticket, five bucks to Amazon. So you can see how easily all this can build up if you plan on spending that money anyway. Might as well get rewarded for it, even if it's small. If you're going to spend it, hmm, why not? Here's the downside. There's always a downside, right? If you're using My Points for large purchases like vacations, this could be very worthwhile. However, if you're kind of frugal on your financial journey, you might find earning points via My Points kind of tedious. For instance, I mentioned that uh, you can earn points by watching videos. Well, this is true, but you might have to watch two hours worth of videos in order to earn four points. Huh? So given that you need 250 to earn a dollar gift card from Amazon and that the minimum wage in the United States is way more than 50 cents an hour, this route of earning points might not be worth your time. So the same thing with surveys. Now you can take surveys on my points to earn redeemable points. However, the time commitment may be a bit more than you want. So if you have the time, you could spend it earning points via surveys and watching videos. But in my opinion, yeah, that's just not the best use of my points. So here's what a few my points users say. As of this podcast, we checked out some of the reviews on the mobile app. In the Google Play Store, they were 120 total reviews. And the average rating was about 2.6 out of 5. 
So in reading those reviews, in most cases, it wasn't technically the program itself that people were criticizing. It appeared for some reason that the app wasn't user-friendly. It regularly kicked people off, or that people were having trouble with redeemable points via the app. We also noticed that ProdEdge, the creators of MyPoints, were answering a lot of the complaints trying to help these individuals find solutions, which, that's something you don't see a whole lot of app creators do in the Play Store. So here are my overall thoughts on MyPoints. If you're someone who spends a lot of money on travel, lodging, and who shops regularly on any popular e-commerce website, my points might be a great way to get rewarded for spending your own money. However, if you intend on making significant money with it, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're setting yourself up for disappointment, basically, because it just takes a long time to earn all the points you need to get your gift cards and rewards. If you're patient and don't mind accruing points over the long haul, go for it. Why not get rewarded for money you're going to be spending anyway? And that does it for this one. A kind of a quick overview here. If you have some thoughts, please go ahead and drop it in the comments below. You're going to see an article at thecollegeinvestor.com on my points review. You can just search for it and find it and give us your comments. We'd love to hear it. You can also see tons and tons of amazing articles and blog entries. Again, the website, thecollegeinvestor.com. Hey, thanks for dropping by and listening today. We are honored that you did. And we'll talk to you again very soon.